Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package to open for you. So this one comes by way of American Blade Works. So I'll unbox it with the Nip Light prototype. And uh, shout out to American Blade Works. They are doing really cool stuff. Uh, American made knives for reasonable pricing. And they have a new model. It is a button lock model. And they were kind enough to uh, send one my way to review. And uh, I told them I would happily pass it around as well. Oh, that's so cool. He sent me an inlay one. I was kind of like, eh, probably going to send one without inlays. But that is gorgeous. Look at that. So it's some kind of nebula, I guess. Fat carbon. With milling across it, you have lefty clip option. Made in the USA. Magna cut, I'm sure, at 63 or whatever. And you have their new button lock. So, one thing I'll say right away is I would like to see more blade inside that handle. You have plenty of handle left over there. But, um, let's give her a flick fires out of there and this is probably my favorite design aesthetically from american blade works you have that stepped milling wow stepped milling on the blade all the way down what it feels like it gets super thin i'm guessing yes it's sharp and then you have this button lock does have a little stick there but it's not bad it has a decent spring to it. I handled these at uh, Blade Show Texas, and um, I was pretty impressed with the action on them. For a button lock, usually it's pretty tough to get uh, a good spring in it, get a good detent, and that feels pretty damn solid. I mean, you can see it swinging. Now, this is, I believe, a traditional plunge lock. So you can see that there. Pops around. It does have a nice secure click. There is no, I mean, oh, I'm really rocking it. Barely feeling anything. No side to side. Really feel bad whacking this, but I know you guys want to know. Disengage. Re-engage. Nothing. Didn't loosen up at all. I'm not whacking it any more than that. I got to pass it around and, you know, I, I just don't see the point. It withstood a, a whack. I mean, it flicks good. Um, it feels pretty much like a detent. I mean, even left-handed where usually I get issues flicking. do have quite a bit of stick, but I'm hoping that wears in. And again, that means what? What does that mean? It means it's locked up, right? That means it's locked up, which is a good thing. You can't have it every which way. You know, you want it to just drop shut. Well, guess what? Or if you want it to be the smoothest button ever, you know, you have a, more of a risk of it failing, I think. Um, do we want to take it apart? Do we want to take it apart? I don't know. I don't think it's necessary. It's swinging down. It's very sticky, but again, I'm sure it'll break in. I just don't know if there's a good reason. Oh, you hear that? Listen. Oh, it's just nice. This is fantastic, honestly. I don't know if maybe I just put a little oil in there might help. I just don't know how, um, I just don't know if it's going to be a pain to assemble if I take it apart and it's like, it's dead centered. It feels great. I really don't know if there's a great reason to sit here. Put a little oil there and see what that does.
Yeah, just a little bit of stick. I mean, is it the end of the world? No, I think it's fine. I like the button location. I like how slim that button is. Like it's not protruding out of the handle like crazy. Some buttons tend to get a little too crazy with how they stick out of the handle. The thumb studs are aggressive. Like they have really aggressive jimping and I like that. The ergos are fantastic in hand. It's basically a model one, right? Um, and then it just has this really good blade shape. I love that little uh, ramp right here. It comes down to a drop point. Um, you know, kind of looks like a lizard, uh, reminiscent of maybe some Sabenzas or even the, uh, James Brand Barnes, maybe. Um, I love that blade shape. Milled to the gills. This is not a heavy knife. This is super lightweight. I'd venture to guess this, this weighs about three ounces. Um, it's really, really good. Um, really really good that weight this is probably his best made knife that i've handled um just quality wise it feels phenomenal with that milling this inlay is really well done i mean i can just catch corners here but you know i'm nitpicking that's really really well done i love that the milling is transferred across that's something that i love to see the backspacer is really nice. I mean, guys, what does this thing cost is the question. Um, his knives are usually, you know, in the two to three hundred dollar range. So let's say this knife costs three fifty as is with Magna Cut and you know fat carbon inlays. This is titanium, by the way. Somewhere around three to three and a half ounces. It's a home run. I mean, it's literally a no-brainer for people unless you hate button locks, which is fair. Totally fair. Um, I would venture to guess that they took care to make sure it locks up properly, you know. Um, and if there are any issues, you know they're damn well going to take care of it. It's one of the great things about American Blade Works. So, I love it. I love it. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. You're probably going to see it again in a uh, rapid review session or maybe even a, uh, caught my finger there, or maybe even a, a full review. Um, I'm probably, I'm tempted to do some cutting with it. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to pass it around so I don't want to go crazy. But, you know, like here, just to show you, like here's some, some uh, nylon cord or whatever. It's like glow in the dark cord. This thing is just going to, yeah, I mean, it's literally, it's just sharp. That's the way to explain it to you is it's extremely sharp at the edge there. Um, I have no doubts it's going to do very well on cardboard or paper or uh, anything you would probably put it through. And... Uh, that is excellent to see. I really am a big fan of this knife. And I'm a big fan of American Blade Works. I love seeing them continue to improve and just absolutely demolish the competition in terms of uh, value. This right here is an absolute value. The only company that maybe compares, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, is like Tactile Knife Co., who has a much bigger operation, pumps out a lot more knives, and at a much lower quality. I, I like Tactile. I'm not, you know, I don't want to act like I'm bashing on them. But they release a knife, you want to avoid that knife for a year before they get their process right. And they kind of do a community CQI. You know what I mean? Like, the knife gets out there, then they get all the QC issues dialed out and, um, you know, maybe you get lucky and you get a good one, but, um, by the way, this is breaking in a little bit already, but this, this is one of his first ones. I hit him up. He's like, those will be ready next week. And he sent it to me. And I mean, I have very little after, you know, 10 minutes here, but very little to critique on it. I mean, he got the spring right on a button lock. That's one of the hardest things. He made the right choice going with a stud knife versus a flipper 
or a hole. I think this was the smart move with the button lock. He picked a beautiful blade shape. The handle is already a proven, just awesome design. He's got magnet cut dialed in at this point, right? Um, that step, step milling is gorgeous. The milling on the handle scales. Like this actually gives me, you know, Craig Brown sort of reminiscence. And I mean that in the most positive way I could. Those are $800 knives. And yes, those knives have more attention to detail and the quality's a bit better on those. They're $800 knives. This is a $300 knife, probably. $350, I would guess, tops. It's phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. I'm blown away. You're killing it. You're killing it. American Blade Works, thank you for... Uh, making stuff like this. I know there's a lot of people that only want American-made knives. And this is like, this is amazing for those people because they don't have to spend 800. They don't have to spend 600 and get thick-ass geometry and, and dog shit, right? Um, they're going to get a fantastic knife for 300-ish bucks made here with great customer service a great brand um honestly one of the only downsides to american blade works is that they can't make more knives faster you know what i mean like there's just not enough of them out there i guess for them to get the recognition they deserve because they really need to get more especially after this all right that's it that's my ramble that's my little speech on American Blade Works. Um, I don't have an affiliate link. I don't have anything to sell you. I don't even know if these are available. Yes, this was provided by them, but I'm sending it around to a bunch of other channels and I'll very well never see it again. Um, hopefully I will because I probably would keep it. Um, honestly, might just buy one in the meantime if I can get my hands on one. Uh, if I could get like 80s or something on one, I'd be uh, all in on that. This is so good. God damn. Perfect ergonomics. You have a really good uh, sharpening choil plunge grind as far as I know. Take a look. It just drops off and then you have that choil there. The blade shape is great for basically everything. Great size. I mean, at this point, I would probably just want the handle shrunk down a little bit because I like the blade size. I don't need more blade than that. Um, so they could bring the handle in a little bit to meet up with this so you don't have so much extra handle. Basically perfect. Basically perfect. Goddamn. All right. Rant over. Shout out to American Blade Works. Love you guys. Thank you all. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I uh, hope you can find one of these wherever. I'll link whatever I can, of course. If I can find it, I will link it down below. I'm sure there's going to be more. This is going to be a popular model, guys. A well done button lock. Thank you. Thank you, right? It's not just like, hey, we're making a button lock and just garbage after garbage. They spent time on this. They made this work, right? Look at how that button sits when it's closed, by the way. Look at that. That's what I want to see. Basically flush in the handle. And then just a little bit when open, pop, she closes, she's dropped shut, she's got no play in any direction. God damn. Killed it, Michael Martin. All right, love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Peace.